going to uh, open it up to questions from a, a group of our media here, and we're going to start uh, in Arkansas with Paul Boyd. Paul Boyd, Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette. You're up. Hey, Chelsea, congratulations, first of all, but uh, can, can you just talk to us about uh, your feelings when you hear, heard your name called? And uh, secondly, how do you feel like uh, being in Mike Neighbors' system and playing there uh, will help you uh, in your pro career? Um, you know, it was an unbelievable feeling. Uh, you know, I've worked my whole entire life for this moment, for this day, for this feeling. And, you know, it's just, I feel on top of the world right now. I feel amazing. And, um, you know, in Coach Neighbor's system, you know, in the SEC, there's so many great players. Um, but in, in Coach Neighbor's system, you know, the speed that we play at, I think is a huge, uh, a huge factor. And it's going to really, really help me, um, you know, transitioning into the WNBA and the style of play that we play. You know, there's a lot of, um, ball screens and playing out of screens and um there's a lot of that in the WNBA and uh, I, I think those two things are really gonna uh help me transition thank you Chelsea our next question will come from Dorothy Gentry and ah. Dorothy Dorothy will be followed by uh Hallie Hart Dorothy then Hallie Hart Dorothy if you would Sorry, I was trying to unmute, forgive me. How are you doing? This is Dorothy Gentry with The Athletic here in Dallas. So looking forward to, to meeting you in person when you get here. Congratulations. Uh, thank um, you, I feel great. <laughs> um, talk a little bit about um, your ability to, to score, to shoot the ball and how you will uh, play alongside Arike, of course, you know, the league's leading scorer last year and kind of alleviate some of uh, the pressure that she's had in that area. <laughs> Um, I think that, uh, yeah, I have the ability to score the basketball from everywhere on the floor. I can shoot the three consistently. Uh, you'll see more of my mid-range game. I've always had it, but um, I didn't get to showcase as much in college, but um, the mid-range for sure. And, you know, getting to the basket, getting fouls, getting under the defense. Um, I think that uh, I, I, I can contribute in all of those ways. And, you know, um, Arike, I love watching Arike play. She plays with so much passion, energy, intensity, and I can't wait to learn from her. Like, like you said, leading the leading scorer. Um, I have, I can learn so much from her, and I can't wait. All right, thank you. Our next question will come from Hallie Hart, and Hallie will be followed by Nathan Thompson. Hallie, you're up with Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. I'm Hallie Hart, and I'm with the Oklahoman. So I just wanted to ask, I know you um, talked to Holly Rowe about what it meant to you to be from a small town and now be representing the WNBA on this stage. So just when you think back to playing high school basketball in Oklahoma, what does that mean to you just to represent your small town and represent the state like that? Yeah, anything is possible. Like you said, I came from a small town. Um, being, being so close to... Um, to, to Oklahoma and to Arkansas means so much to me. I'm so happy um, that Dallas picked me. I'm, I'm, I can't even describe the feeling, but uh, you know, just like I said, anything is possible. Um, and don't set, don't set limits and uh, fears on yourself. You know, especially if we do that as women and um, we create that in our mind, let that go. And if, like I said, anything is possible. Thank you, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And our next, our next question will come from Nathan Thompson. Nathan will be followed by Tyler Butler. Nathan, you're up for Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. I'm at Fox 23 in Tulsa. I think the first time we did a story on you, you were, you were 14. Uh, just being <laughs> on here. Uh, when you were back there in Sepulpa playing at 14, did you ever think that this night would happen? Um, you know, it was always a dream of mine, but um, it, it became reality today for sure. It is a dream come true, but... Uh, you know, I just work every single day um, to be in this moment right here. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question will come from Tyler Butler. Hey, Chelsea, this is uh, Tyler Butler from Sports and Culture Sports Media. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey. What does it feel to know, like, um, all your Arkansas fans, like Cole or the three little girls who wear your jersey, to know they can come uh, right the street to Dallas and watch? 
Absolutely. It means so much. You know, I've had so much support since the day that I've stepped on this campus until now. And, and I know that will um, that will carry on through uh, the WNBA. They was talking about, I can't wait to, to buy the jersey. So it means so much to me. Cole was actually here today. Um, but like I said, it's going to mean so much. My mom's never missed a home game right up the street. I'm only about three and a half hours from her and about five from Arkansas. So, it, you know, it couldn't be a better situation. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you much. Uh, Tyler Butler will be next, and Tyler will be followed by Danny Thompson. Tyler, you're up. Uh, I just asked the question. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. We will go to Danny Thompson. Danny, if you would. Chelsea, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, Chelsea, congratulations uh, being drafted. Welcome to Dallas. For those who've never seen your game before, who do you compare yourself to or who do you model your game after? Um, I could tell you my favorite, you know, Maya Moore is my favorite player, and that's somebody that I want to grow into, um, you know, throughout my journey, throughout the WNBA. But um, I can't wait to play alongside Arike. You know, I can't wait to learn so much from her. We both have, you know, a scoring mentality, and I can't wait to grow from her. All right, thank you. Our next question will come from Jeffrey Williams. Jeffrey will be followed by Howard Megdal. Howard, you're on deck. Jeffrey Williams, you're up with Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Um, the um, You're going to the Dallas Wings, which used to be the Tulsa Shock. When you were growing up, did you catch any of the Shock games? And how, if so, how did that inspire you to get to where you're at now? We may have lost yeah, you have to Chelsea more, more frequently. 